Okay, so we are test using a digital multimeter to test the parts, thermostats, fuses on an electric dryer. You can use this to test on any kind of dryer, okay? All dryers are the same thing. We're gonna just go get one of these at Walmart. They sell it for like $20. As long as they have these signals right here, like the Wi-Fi signal with the arrow and the plus. i show you real quick right here. Just find in any digital uh, multimeter with these signs right here. That's all you need to test the uh, parts of the dryer. See it right there? So we're going to use that setting to test the parts of the dryer. This is continue. We call them continuity. Okay. Continuity, okay. And then we're gonna test also, just make sure the connections on, are in this position. Okay. And then, like the red one goes here where, where it has these sing, uh, symbols. All right. Okay, so like I said, when I check continuity, uh, just make sure the connection on this position on your digital uh, multimeter, and then uh, you wanna uh, sounds. They're gonna be the sounds of continuity, like this. Okay, continuity like that. Okay, let's try test it. So you can, you can hear. Como se mueve que si hay continuidad porque hay números y luego se regresa. Ah, you can hear there is a continuity. That's supposed to be like that, okay? Okay, so that's gonna be the setting for continuity, okay? Now we're gonna switch it or move it to voltage voltage to check voltage uh, of the house for the plug for the connection of the dryer okay we're gonna put it on 750 no 750 volts okay because we're gonna check 240 volts and we also gonna we are we're gonna check a hundred 10 volts 120 volts so we put it right there okay voltage 750 don't do 200 unless you wanna check any less voltage than 200 but since we're gonna check the 240 for the dryer plug we're gonna leave it at 750 okay so that's all the the two settings that you need to have on your digital multimeter if you go to Walmart, you wanna find one of these, a little smaller, but with the same settings for 20 bucks. I bought this one a long time ago at AutoZone for 60 bucks, okay? So, first of all, I'm just gonna go ahead and check or test the uh, dryer plug, the outlet from the wall of the house, and see, this is a four prone dryer core, because uh, the dryer is not heating up, so I'm just going to show you how to test these two terminals. <clears throat> They're supposed to be give you 240 volts, okay? So you just leave it on 700, uh, 750 voltage, and then you just insert the two terminals, one on each side of the, of the outlet, and keep it, keep it in there. There you go, it's 240 volts. So now you can tell that you got good voltage out of the uh, um, outlet wall, electric wall, I mean electric outlet from the dryer. So that, that means you have uh, voltage, okay? So you don't have to worry about, oh, they might, I, I don't know if I have, if I, if I have uh, um, any electrical problems or something like that, so. That's not going to be the case. 
So this is the way to check voltage of your house. I'm gonna show you only the dryer and the uh, stove use 240 volts. Um, any other <coughs> small regular outlets, like for the washer, for any other connection, it's supposed to be 120, 120 volts, okay? Let me show you real quick. Here, inside the terminal, I want an each hole. Excuse me for all the mess that I have here. But you're supposed to be getting that. Just insert, <clears throat> does not give me like 15 volts. But let me just insert the terminals pretty, uh, doing better. Okay, there you go. So you can tell you got 119, 120, excuse me, volts out of the outlet. So, you know, you have good outlets, good electricity coming out from your house. Okay, that's the way you check voltage from any outlet at your home. Even if it's 120 volts or 240. Remember, 240 is only for the dryer connection. Okay, or if you if or if you have electrical stove, you know that's the only uh, other outlet that you're supposed to be have 240 uh, 240 volts. Other than that, any other small plugs, any other electrical connection, small ones. From the walls they're supposed to be 120 okay so that's uh this is a continuity and this is the voltage okay that's the only two settings that you need to uh to test on your um digital multimeter okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and test now the continu continuity on the dryer parts okay like the thermostat uh, fuse, thermic fuse, and then uh, heat element. Okay, I'm testing now the the beep. You're supposed to be here a beep. So let's go ahead to the back of the dryer. I already have. I got the top off, the back top off. Now I'm gonna show you how to test the parts of the dryer okay it has like one two three four five five parts in the back any electrical dryer okay so make sure the dryer is disconnect okay very very careful uh, you know i'm not professional i'm just doing this on my own on my own stuff i don't this i don't do this for living so it's your responsibility uh, very be responsible. I will not responsible if you cause a fire or something like that. Okay, so very careful. Okay, so I'm gonna put my setting on con continuity right there where the symbols are, the Wi-Fi symbol, the arrow plus, and uh, and then I'm just gonna touch uh, any two of the uh, each sensor or two of each fuse or thermostat to see if, if it has beep if it has beep 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 that means that is good okay always take a picture before remove any wires from the thermostats or parts so that way you know where it goes and then um and that, that everything should be fine okay the first one the white part right there is a fuse uh, is the uh, thermic fuse the fuse only if it's if it's bad your dryer is not gonna turn on at all okay that's the fuse that makes you uh, your dryer turn on this one right here Beep, beep, I turn the sound off, but it's, it's working. Sorry about that, because I'm doing two different videos, one in Spanish and one in English, where I, I try my best, you know, I'm not, I try, so, so that one is good. It's, it sounds, and it sounds the beep, so that 
fuse, uh, thermic fuse is good, okay? Now we're gonna do the second one, just on the bottom. That is a thermostat. As you can see, it has four wires. If I just take off the, uh, just remove the, the red ones, which is uh, the, the power, okay? Remove the, just leave the, the purple ones, the little ones in the middle. You don't have to test those. So just test the big ones, the big terminals, okay? And that you wanna see, you wanna hear, that's gonna be beep right there, okay? Papa. Let me, oh, oh, look at you. Papa. Ah, the water. Uh, my son is right here next to me. Okay, so, just test it, and you wanna hear the beep, okay? Just like this. One on each side. Okay. Ahí ya había... So now we know that that one is good. So when I put the wires, you can test it with the wires on as well, okay? You don't have to remove them unless you want to make sure 100%, but you can tell, I mean, that's not a big deal. So now I'm going to do the one on top. The one on top is another, it calls it thermistor cut off something like that you know and then uh, I'm gonna test it and you can hear that there is gonna be no beep on this one okay here we go no beep no beep even if you switch in the terminals no beep at all so what does that mean? That means that this part, this thermostat is not good. Okay. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have to replace this uh, thermostat because the dryer is not heating up on this dryer. So you just remove this part and you're good to go. Just order it on eBay for eight dollars is what the, was the that's the price of this part you know eight dollars is nothing guys come on but uh in the meantime i'm gonna just show you real quick to test the last thermostat and the heat element okay i'm gonna remove this wire on top so you can just tell right there okay that's another thermostat next to the heat element okay Okay. Okay. So now all you gotta do is just remove the one on top. That's the heat element. That's that's good. Okay. Where we tested. So that's it, guys. That's it for today. Hopefully you can understand what I am saying at least half of it or have an idea. But that's the way you can just test the, the parts, okay? This is the part that was wrong right here, this one. Just replace it in, your drive will be heat the clothes again, okay? Just replace it, $8 plus $20 at Walmart for the multimeter. I mean, it's worth it, you know? You spend $28 and you can keep the multimeter to, for more things in your house in the future, okay? Or in the future for the dryer as well, if it's, it breaks down again. Have a nice day, guys. We'll see you next time. Thank you.